Hi everyone, this is Scott Weidenkivowitz from Photocrati. We have a lot of customers that ask us, how do you change the menu? Because by default, the Photocrati theme is just going to put every page that you create in your menu. Now, that's great if, you're, if you only have a certain amount of pages. It's not going to put blog articles, only pages. So, again, this is great if you only have, let's say, five or six pages and they're not long names. But this gets a little bit trickier as you have a lot of other pages or if you wanted some sub pages. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, so here we go. I have two pages right here now. And you can see here I have a sub page called sample page right here. So this is actually a custom menu. This is something that you can do with any WordPress. And the way the Photocrati theme works is if you set a custom menu for the primary navigation menu, it will override the automation. It also has a feature where you can set a bottom menu, which will go down here at the bottom, uh, actually but right here by the, in the footer area. So let me show you how to do this. So here's your back end. Now, I am actually running WordPress 3.8. Eight. Now, 3.8 is not out yet, but that is why I'm running it to do a little bit of a head start um, to show how the menu system, the difference between 3.7 uh, and 3.8, it's really just a little bit of styling difference, uh, but the how the menu system works is identical. So here you go. Here is the appearance uh, tab right here in the back end, and you can see right here it says menus. So if you click on menus, it's going to bring you to this page. And by default, you're going to have nothing. There'll be no menus right off the bat. If you want to create a menu, you hit here, create menu, and then it's going to prompt you to create a menu, title the menu. You can see here that I actually created one called All Pages. And you'll have the ability to add any link you want, any page, any outside link, any blog category. And then you can even drag and drop to reorder things. So let me show you what I mean by that. So here we are. I'm going to actually go to the testing menu that I have right here. See in the testing menu that I've got a page and then a bunch of subpages, categories, and I have a lot of subpages right here. Now this is just for testing purposes of the Photocrati theme. But I'm going to actually go to um, preset menu. Let's do this one. And if you remember, this is exactly what you saw on the front end. You see, back to blog, contact us, and a subpage of sample page. Back to blog, contact us, subpage of sample page. Now, here's how you would go about this. Let's say you want to add the shopping cart page to, or let's say something else. Let's say you want to add your shopping cart page to the submenu. We're going to click on that, hit add to menu. It's going to drop it in right here. And now I can take this and I can drag it wherever I want. So I'm going to actually drag it under the, sub, the sample page. And then let's see what other pages we can add. Here you have most recent view all and search. So you can see every single page that you've created all in one spot. I'm going to say um, slideshow, add to the menu, and then I'm going to drag that to the top. Now right now this means that this is the first menu item before back to blog. Now here's something else that's really nice. Let's say your page is called um, Boston Wedding Photographer. So let's say your page, it actually would be like this. By default, it would actually show this, okay? Now, navigation label, title attribute. For SEO, your title attribute, you want that to be your page title here. So let's say Boston Wedding Photographer is actually your about page. So what I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that and cut that. I, I just hit Command X to cut that. And I'm gonna write about, or about, about, uh, me because I'm one photographer and then I'm going to go to title attribute and paste that with command V I'm going to paste that in place now what that did is it actually will change the menu navigation so the actual name in the menu will say about me but for SEO purposes search engines will see it as Boston wedding photographer now you can do that with any page I can go here and I can actually create a link so I can actually link to Google let's say and I can add that link to here and it'll put it right at the, at the bottom. And I, I can do the same thing. I could move it up. I can, I can move it up with just clicking. I can move it up with dragging. Whatever I want to do, I can do that very easily. Let's do it a sub sub page. Now, let's say you don't want that to link. You want that to open up a new tab because you don't want, or let's say you're going like this. Let's say you're going like this. Facebook, 
um, and then Facebook my photo page. So this is your photo page. Now you want this to link in a new browser window or a new tab. So what you're going to do is then go all the way up, and here in screen options, you're going to select link target, and then we can close that screen options. Go back down here, and right now it says open link in new window or tab. And you'll see that the others now have that option as well if you wanted to add that. Very easy. Now, you can also add blog categories, as I've mentioned. So here's all the different blog categories that's in my testing site right now. And you can add that if you want to as well. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. Now, again, I said that if you set it as a primary navigation menu, then it will override the Photocrates automate, automated menu. So you can see here that this is checked, primary navigation, and then there's one here that says footer navigation. So what I want to do is I actually want to add this as both. Okay, so it's going to be the same menu on footer. And, now, you don't have to do this on both for every single menu that you want to use. You can, you can do this for, you know, choose one for primary, then do different menu for the footer. You can see here that you got multiple menu options. You can have as many menus as you want. So you've got many different options there. Now, if I go back to the home page and I refresh this, you're actually going to see the menu change, and then I'll show you the footer as well. Here we are uh, again at the at the test site, and you can see here the about me is going to Boston Wedding Photographer. You can see if I hover over that, the title is actually showing as Boston Wedding Photographer. Here's the back to blog. Here's the contact us with the sample page. Here's that Facebook link. Here's a shopping cart. So you can see that. It actually did do what I wanted to. Now, if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see that I have the menu here as well. Now, the the footer menu won't use your sub pages, your sub uh, menu items. It'll only use the the main one. So, keep that in mind uh, when you're creating menus for the footer. So again, it's very easy. Go to appearance and menus, and when you do that, you are going to have all these different options for how you can organize uh, your your menu on your website. So I'm going to just remove all these to bring it back to the way it was. Um, so if you have any questions, definitely let us know. Otherwise, thanks for watching.